Welcome everybody to another daily vlog, a vlog that happens daily, sometimes from St. Paul, Minnesota, and sometimes when I'm lost on streets I should not be on. But the good thing about that is when you're on streets that say no trucks allowed, no trucks allowed, you can't make a right hand turn, you can't make a left hand turn, All the only option you have is to go straight, you come across some pretty awesome things like this. Now I can't get out because I just... I'm not on the proper street to get out. I'm actually right now parked where buses are supposed to be parked on the shoulder because I was looking at my Google navigation to see how to get out of this mess I'm in. But check this out. Look at that. That, I think it's a church. The bells just went off, but the place is ginormous anyway I think cars are honking at me so I should probably try and find my way out of this mess I'm in well I made it off of those city streets I can't believe I made it now I kind of wish I would not have made it wish I could have just stayed there for a little bit doesn't matter I'm city no matter where I go My whole plan was to get unloaded and just kind of kill the day and maybe go see Guardians of the Galaxy, hang out at the Mall of America for a little bit. Five o'clock in the evening is not time to try and get yourself to the mall. It's not, if you want to go anywhere, five o'clock in the evening is not the time to go anywhere. Well, I did it. I know I just said I wasn't going to do it, but I did it. I'm back. Back at the Mall of America. Boy, I'm using my S7 Edge, and it was messing up because I just charged it, so the phone's really hot. I, I forgot how bad the phone messes up if you try and shoot video. It stutters and skips and everything if the phone is hot to the touch. So I don't know if you guys just seen that last clip. I might just edit it, but probably not. Anyway, so I know I said I was not going to come to the Mall of America today. Traffic was heck, let's put it that way. But I don't know. There's something calling me. Guardians. Guardians of the galaxy. It's calling me. So I pulled into the parking lot and uh, called the movie theater within Mall of America because they have a huge IMAX. Boy, is the wind hitting my mic? I don't know. I'll talk to you guys when I get up front. Okay, so what happened was I called to make sure I could get tickets to see Guardians of the Galaxy in the theater here. Come to find out, the huge movie theater that is inside this mall is closed. Closed for like a whole year. I can't see Guardians of the Galaxy. So I've already parked. There's really not much else to do. I mean, I had my heart. My heart was set on Guardians of the Galaxy. You can't always control your situation, but you can, you can control your attitude. So I'm going to change up Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm going to do something called Smash. They have something called Smash here in the mall. I think it's like a four-story, gigantic, couple-mile-long go-kart racing thing, something. I don't know. It's brand new. Since the movie theater's gone, i got to figure something to do. So I'm going to ride go-karts inside the mall. you look at that amazing place and there's quite a bit to do within this mall but I don't know there's one thing I've never done and I'm gonna go do it now it's only been here for I think two months something like that don't correct me if I'm wrong Instead of having just an elevator or a bunch of escalators close by what they make you do 
is come up on an escalator, walk about a half a mile, grab another escalator, go back the opposite way, about a half a mile, grab another escalator. Huh. You could get beat walking around these places. No idea who designs, who, who the architect is that created this mall. Number two. Now to find another escalator. I found another one way over here. Check this out. Here's another view of the theme park inside the mall. Would you look at that? up the last escalator. It is a chore getting around this mall, definitely. Check this place out. You got places for fun picks. Yeah, I'm not sure what this place is. It is called Smash. It is huge. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what it is from this screen up here it's showing like it's a virtual reality goat cart track and roller coaster sim place something see they're wearing the oculus rift or htc vibe it's it's america's adrenaline arena so it might be fun it is definitely an awful large building if it's just for VR. It does look like there is go-karts in there too. So we could probably go check that out. It's not just VR headset stuff. It looks like there is a whole floor of adrenaline fun. So what it is, there's a go-kart track in here that is separately priced than the VR stuff and whatever. We're gonna go check out what that is. But I got permission to come down this back hallway into the secret area and see the track. I'm, let's see, can I get, yeah, let's get up here. So check this place out. Let's see if we can see some cars going. Let's see if anybody's gonna be racing. It is a double layered track. Pretty awesome place, look at that. Would you look at that racetrack? I'm kind of waiting for somebody to get in the car and start racing around. So what the guys that operate the place told me is certain times of the day, it's different prices. So like right now, it's 25 bucks for six minutes. That's kind of a lot of money for six minutes, right? So I'm gonna see if it goes down later in the evening and I'll do it. But right now I'm just kind of hanging out waiting for someone to hop on the car. You guys gonna hop on a car? You guys gonna hop on a car? Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> waiting for the next one. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Is, what, are they just starting? Uh, yeah, they're getting these guys suited up. So what's going on right now is there's a line of cars over there. There's a couple people getting ready to get on. But before you get in the car, you actually have to put on a racing suit. It looks like they are getting the track ready. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. Somebody just took off and there's no engine noise. None. You better get going. 25 bucks for six minutes. Might, might get one lap. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do this. Here they come. 
Yeah, definitely. This is definitely probably something I'm not going to waste my money on. I'm kind of glad we don't have something like this at home in Orlando. It, I mean, this, this is pretty bad. Very, very slow. Zoom. Yeah, you have to make the sound effects ready. Zoom. It looks a lot cooler than it actually is. I think it's just the lights make it look really awesome. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, on the adult ones, I, I mean, I serve and I hear them. Okay, go ahead and talk. Okay. Like, on the adult ones? Yeah, on the adult ones. Because I serve and when we had the dining room open, I, I would jump. Like, it sounded like it was coming from me, but I've never seen the kid one. So this is... I didn't know that there was kid one. I thought it was all one size fit all. Can they do the fast? So this is a kid's one. That's why it's going so slow. Still looks cool. That's enough of the race cars. Let's go see what the VR, see what they use. If it's Oculus or if they use HTC Vive or what stuff they have within there. I'm probably not going to pay to do any of this. I'll pay to do something else. Patreon did kick in yesterday, so I do need to use that money for a roadside attraction. Maybe the Crayola store. Let's go inside the Crayola store. So this is Smash. They, hey, they do sell adult beverages. That's a good thing. Check this out. A whole VR arcade of awesomeness. $35 unlimited play on everything. Stuff like this. It's probably worth it. Those race cars, not really. Like put an Oculus or a HTC Vive on it, you get. Yeah, once that happens, and you get a big super. You can lift it over 120 feet right here. Walk the plank, try and save it. Way out the middle of it. Save. So you gotta walk the plank. Oh, they have this on the HTC Vive. So you guys are just charged in to play the game. Oh, uh, and instead of walking in your living room and pretending to walk on that board, you have an actual board. That's, that, that's what happens. That, that is awesome. Any of you watch like Barnacle's Nerdgasm and stuff like that and, 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 what, and uh, YouTube channels like that? He shot a video of that same exact game in his, he, at his friend's living room or something like that. But instead of walking across an actual board to save the kitten and get back in it, uh, and, and, and save the kitten, they did put an actual board in there. So it does feel like you are high up off the ground walking across something small. That's pretty awesome. That is pretty awesome right there. Yeah. Is this a, oh, hey, yeah. hey YouTube. What's your YouTube channel? Uh, Google Glass, Glass Geek. Oh, I don't got my glasses on. It's Glass Geek. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, that's what is that? Oh, yeah, that's the, that looks pretty sick though. around filming. Kids seem to really love YouTube. They all, are you vlogging? Are you vlogging? It's pretty fun. Anyway, check. This that's an extreme drone race. So I think you put on your virtual reality headset, you sit in this, and it's like you're sitting in a drone. This is what I like. Amazing. I have plenty of haunted attractions on my on uh, my Samsung Gear VR, and I have something similar to that. I actually have about three games similar to that, but. It's Samsung Gear VR. It's not a real Oculus or an HTC Vive. So it might be worth doing that every once in a while. It's probably worth the cash. This VR out. So this is like you're sitting in a drone? Yeah. 
Okay, okay, I can film you now. Now you guys are in disguise. Oh, they make you put they make you put sweatbands on or something. They make you put sweatbands on before you put those on. All right. Put the thing back up so I can get you on video. Okay, so what they do here is they give you a little face mask thing that, that holds all the sweat. And then that way, because you sweat profusely with the VR headset on. So they give you that mask and then you put the... Looks like a HTC Vive. So they're putting the HTC Vives on. Now they're going to be sitting inside of a drone and battling it out. Alright, well you guys have fun. I'm going to go walk around and check this place out. Win. Win. At all costs. That is insane. What is this back here? What is what is this place gonna be? It's all steampunked out. Huh? What's this place gonna be? This was actually our dining room. This was our the restaurant by like originally. The top music. Just cool to walk around. Huh? Cool to walk around. Yeah. Cool. But yeah, now it's actually they are renovating and they're throwing more games in here. I like this whole steampunk though. Yeah. So steampunk. Put more games in here and And this was their dining area. Check this whole steampunk look out. That is pretty awesome. This is definitely a trip. So not only do they got this, look at, look at them go, they're racing. So not only do they have this gigantic amusement park within the mall, they also have places like this. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off, go grab something to eat, and then take you guys in on tomorrow's video into the Crayola, or the Crayola, it's not a Crayola museum, whatever the Crayola thing is they have here that we've seen last time, but we didn't actually go inside. So I'm gonna take you guys inside there, but not until tomorrow. That's gonna to be a different vlog. So from outside of Hooters at Mall of America, I will talk to you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody.